Nikita as gets into prayer pose. Erwin Parius it improves flexibility, promotes blood circulation and strengthens the immune and nervous systems. But for Nikita as, 31 year old director and managing partner of the full service video production company Seabiscuit Films, Kundalini Yoga calmed his mind and gave him a clear sense of what he was meant to do with his life. Sanskrit for coiled snake, Kundalini refers to the untapped energy found at the base of our spine. Specific poses, movements and breathing techniques called Kriya help draw this energy up. For centuries, Kundalini Yoga was practiced exclusively in India until it was introduced to the West, first in Toronto, Canada, then in California, United States, by Yogi Bhajan in the late 1960s. To date, the discipline known as Yoga of Awareness is offered in studios and retreats all over the world. It even has a celebrity following, actors Al Pacino, Alec Baldwin and Demi Moore have practiced it, as have supermodel Cindy Crawford and Miranda Kerr, and Queen of Pop Madonna. Practiced in a room with no mirrors, and for the most part, with eyes closed to eliminate any form of self-consciousness, Kundalini Yoga begins with participants chanting mantras, a tuning in of sorts to bring the group in the right frequency, explains Daez. This is followed by stretching of the spine to make the body limber. Wide range cryo from stretching, breathing, chanting and meditating to jumping, running, dancing and yelling takes up the majority of the class, which can run up to two hours. Given the number of cryo and the wide range of themes and issues to address, no two classes are ever alike. The beauty of Kundalini Yoga is that you'll never know what's going to happen, says Daez. A session ends in Savasana, corpse pose. In the classes Daez attends, teacher Madonna English places lavender eye patches on her students and gives them a gong bath, striking the instrument to heal the group through sound. In a discipline that tends to stir emotions, participants have been known to laugh or cry during classes, Kundalini Yoga can be weird and different, concedes Daez. Still, since taking his first Kundalini Yoga class three years ago, the filmmaker has always finished in good spirits. No fail, he swears, I feel clear, happy, and cleansed. It's the opposite of what he was going through a few years ago, when he grappled with what he calls an existential crisis. Though business at Seabiscuit Films was good, his personal life was in a shambles. My marriage had just ended and I felt like a blazing fire had torched the safety net holding me up, he wrote in an essay. I was free falling into an abyss of melancholy. Drinking and partying, once pleasurable distractions, no longer worked for him. In desperation, he turned to his cousin, former Sunday Inquirer magazine editor Carla Delgado, who invited him to attend a private meditation class. This led to his first Kundalini Yoga session, a life-changing experience from the get-go. I never felt that kind of energy, that kind of stillness and connection by just meditating and moving your body, he marvels. Today, Kundalini Yoga's influence is very much apparent in his life and work.